Hello friends, Caitlin here, and you know what I think? I think that eggnog sucks! No! <laughs> eggnog is great! <laughs> It's a unicorn. That has nothing to do with Christmas. <laughs> so basically today I wanted to talk about how much I hate eggnog and I, how I think it is the worst Christmas thing. It's just one of those things that comes along with Christmas and I think it's stupid and it's dumb and I don't like it. I get what you're saying, mm -hmm. but you also have some other issues. <laughs> that sounded really bad. <laughs> that did sound really bad. I don't like eggnog because I am lactose intolerant and so the even the name eggnog makes me sick thinking about it. I imagine someone took egg yolks and put them in the milk and I don't think that's really what is that, is that how eggnog is made? I have no idea. Okay well that that's what I delicious. imagine. If I was judging eggnog solely based on its name I would agree with you. Eggnog to me is delicious but it has a gross name. After that you just want to go gh. Eggnog. Gh. So then what about fruitcake? I am also anti-fruitcake. Not as much anti as I am anti-eggnog. I mean, if someone puts fruitcake cookies in front of me and they're like, you need to eat these, I made these specially for you, like, I'll, I'll, like, force them down. It doesn't make me ill the way eggnog makes me ill, but still. Yeah, I don't really like fruitcake that much. Fruitcake to me is like other types of cookies other than chocolate chip. To me, like, there's only one cookie that's worth making, and that's chocolate chip. <laughs> if someone puts it in front of me, I'll eat it, but I'd rather be eating chocolate ice cream cake. It just seems like the type of dessert that at the end of the year, people are like, well, we need to make some sort of cookie because it's a holiday, and let's get all the, like, scraps of everything we've made this year and throw it into a cookie or a loaf or a cake, and it's full. That sounds gross. <laughs> what about gumdrops? Do you like gumdrops? No. Really? Nope. I do like gumdrops. I didn't used to like gumdrops because my grandma would make a gumdrop tree and that's the only, like it was beautiful, but that was the only way I was allowed to eat gumdrops. So they had been sitting stuck to this plastic tree for about a month. Yeah. And then on Christmas I was allowed to eat them at which point they were stale and gross. Right. So I'm like, well, the gumdrops are disgusting. But actually, if you get them fresh, they're pretty good. Gumdrops are what peasants ate before they invented real candy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say ham, but that's only because we had a Christmas ham that went bad and we all ate it and all ended up puking. That's awful. Like a bunch. It's weird what people will be obligated to do for Christmas, food-wise. It's like yeah. pumpkin spice for fall. Yeah. No one gives a crap about pumpkin spice until fall comes around. Yeah. No one is just like sits around in the summertime going like, gosh, I really... I have a hankering for some pumpkin spice. There's one of you out there that's yeah. going like, I do, I think that, <laughs> I, I always, I like it. No one else does. There's a lot of other obligations people will do, and I get it, I like Christmas, I like Christmas traditions, I like getting with my family and doing things that I did when I was a kid, but I think as you get older, they just they just keep piling on, yeah. and it just becomes a drag, and like other like people can't handle it. And then you get to be like a bummer to be around because you're stressed out about all the stuff you need to do for Christmas. And it, like, everyone associates with just, like, ugh, nasty feels with Christmas. I think you start setting expectations when, like, kids are young or, like, even when you're a child and the way, like, Christmas is, is done. Um, and so then as you get older, that's, stuff does have to change, but it's so nostalgic that you want to continue doing those things in some way, even though, like, when people have died or you don't have the money or it just gets crazy and elaborate and impossible to meet all of those expectations and yes. then you're right everyone ends up yes. being miserable even if they're like happy on the outside sometimes on the inside they're they're just like crying and dying right why are we high-fiving you don't have to i didn't mean to put that expectation on you <laughs> <laughs> what about crowds like you can't go to the mall or to the grocery store without there being way too many people like, people are just stupid like we were at the mall yesterday <laughs> and just trying to like drive to get to another part of the mall where we wanted to park and these people just stopped in front of an entrance and were letting some people get in their car which yeah. that's fine i'm fine with that it was cold no it wasn't cold you know what it wasn't cold or rainy at all so really there was no actual <laughs> excuse that, for that we just okay. lie. so i'm fine with people getting in their car except they got in their car and then it just sat there and it sat there and there were like six cars that had lined up behind me and were still sitting there and i don't really like 
honking at people unless it's absolutely necessary. So I swear, they sat there for five minutes. And we finally we went around them. When we could. Yeah. We, but there, there was were, like a lot of yeah, traffic. Yeah, there was a lot of traffic, so it was that's why I sat there for so long. But they like they still hadn't moved when we decided to go around them. I mean, and of what course, were they doing? And of course, right after we went around them, they started going. And pedestrians are just Pedestrians are just stupid. They can't walk in crosswalks, and they just like walk diagonally everywhere, like la di da di da. Please don't walk out in front of my car. I I feel that way too until I'm a pedestrian. <laughs> There's I have a complete double standard. That's true. Like the second I step out of my car, I'm like I have the right of way. I'm a pedestrian. I can walk wherever I want. Everyone else is gonna have to wait. But there are also those people that walk way too slow and, and just, diagonally. Yeah, and they people just... that walk diagonally. Why don't you just like here's the store. Here's here's point. A. You just walk across, like... Yeah, and then you can go around wherever your car is. You, you don't walk straight to your car through whatever obstacles may be in the way. Whew, this is a lot of, a lot of complaining. We gotta get <laughs> it off our chest, you know? This is our rant about Christmas. <laughs> yeah. This way we can get it all off of our chest, and then we can go and enjoy Christmas. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. just gotta get it out. It's gotta run down a few pedestrians. Get it no. out of your system. No? No, I'm not encouraging anyone to. Oh, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. That's crazy. So yeah, what are what what bothers you guys about Christmas? Is it the food? Is it pedestrians? Is it something that we haven't covered yet? Tell us, tell us down in the comments and get that angsty rantness out of your system so that you can enjoy the holidays. Yeah. You're a better robot than I am. Am I? <laughs> yeah, I can't. I'm just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. And you're, you're doing the actual, like, thing. It's because I actually am a robot. <laughs> Plus, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. Smile. See you guys on Thursday. <laughs>